Miguel Oliveira has appeared to confirm some contact with Repsol Honda over Marc Marquez's vacant 2024 MotoGP seat. Reports earlier this week suggested Oliveira is a target to take over the factory RC213V abandoned by Marquez, who has negotiated an early exit from his Honda contract. There is nothing on the table yet, there is just an approach. But nothing concrete, Oliveira said of the Repsol Honda rumors at Mandalica on Thursday. A five-time MotoGP winner for KTM, Oliveira is currently in the first year of a two-year deal with Aprilia, which sees him placed at the satellite RNF team. Commenting on the Honda rumors, Oliveira appeared to reference not only Marquez's early exit but Paul Espargaro making way for Pedro Acosta at KTM to underline that anything is possible. I think this season we have seen a lot of unprecedented things. We've seen riders put at home with contracts. I've seen riders breaking contracts and going to other places. So anything is possible, said the Portuguese. It's true that it's a pleasure to be considered by another manufacturer, as big as Honda, especially when there's a factory seat to offer. That's it. Having negotiated an early exit from Honda, eight-time world champion Marc Marquez has been confirmed as a satellite Grazzini Ducati MotoGP rider for 2024. Marquez, who has spent his entire MotoGP career with Repsol Honda, winning six titles and 59 Grands Prix, lost faith in HRC's ability to deliver competitive machinery after over 700 days without a race win. The 30-year-old will now join younger brother Alex on year-old Desmoceticis at Grazzini, having signed for the 2024 season with the team rather than Ducati. That will leave Marquez free to choose from a full range of potential factory destinations for 2025, when almost all existing rider contracts expire. I'm excited with this new challenge, Marquez said. It wasn't an easy decision because it's a big change in every way. But sometimes in life it's important to get out of the comfort zone and put yourself through the paces in order to keep growing. By chance wise, I know I will have to adapt my riding style to a few things, and it won't be easy. But I'm also sure that the whole team Grazzini will help me a lot. I can't wait to get to know the team and start working with them. I'd like to thank Nadia, Carlo and Michelle for the trust and respect they showed me. This is a historical moment for the Grazzini family, added team owner Nadia Padovani Grazzini. The fact that Marc Marquez chose to race with us in the upcoming season is absolutely fantastic and I'm extremely happy to be able to make it official. In less than a season we got really close to his brother, and will welcome Marc the same way, as we're sure he has all the potential to be competitive on the GP23 from the get-go. Last but not least, I would like to thank Fabio Di Antonio for his professionalism, and we wish him all the best for the continuation of his career. The lack of factory machinery for Marquez could become a point for tension with Ducati, but both the Grazzini and VR46 teams have won multiple races with year-old bikes. After 14 victories with Honda from 2002 to 2006, Grazzini became the factory Aprilia entry from 2015 to 2021 before enjoying instant success with Ducati and Enea Bastianini in 2022. Bastianini won four races and finished third in last year's World Championship, propelling him into the factory Ducati team, with Alex Marquez arriving from LCR Honda as his replacement. How much of a pathfinder Alex might have been is unclear, but his instant jump in results won't have gone unnoticed by Mark. After finishing 17th overall for LCR, Alex took a pole and podium in only his second event at Grazzini, then added a sprint victory at Silverstone and, despite missing two rounds with rib injuries, is on course for his best MotoGP season.